In this video, we will learn how to create an apply all button. So we have two use cases here. One is that this apply all button can be applied on filters as well as parameters. So by default, Tableau actually has an apply all button. So what happens when you do not have the apply all button is that for every selection that you make, the data changes accordingly. So let's say now I select Alabama, it will show accordingly, Arizona, and you will keep adding on as you change the filters. This works fine when working with a small set of data, the loading speed is fast, but it can get pretty annoying when we work with larger data where there might be a few seconds of delay every single time that we make a selection. So that's why we want to have a apply all button so that users can make a selection on the options that they want before they hit on apply. So this works great, but let's say if we have multiple filters, what happens is that users will have to go individually to every filter and click on apply and go to another filter and click on apply. So what we can do to reduce the number of times the users have to click and apply is maybe create one button whereby we can call the action to apply to all the filters. So let's see how we can go ahead and create this apply all button. First, let's create a worksheet. Next, we create a calculated view. Let's call this apply or button and let's give this a text apply filters okay now let's drag this into our rows here and then let's do some formatting so we we'll want this as a polygon and let's hide the few labels format this remove the dividers all right, and then the next step is that we want to bring the filters into our details. So what are the filters that we wanted? It was state. Let's use all. We want the category. We want subcategory. Alright, so we have the filters that we are interested in. Let's also put them on the details. Okay, the next step is to show all these filters here. Right, let's format this. So now since we don't need the apply button here, we are not going to add this show apply button. Okay, the next step is let's go back to our dashboard here. Let's bring this apply filters button worksheet that we have created. Let's bring this in. So you'll see that the filters come along here. Let's hide the title. Don't need this. Let's view. So instead of using the filters that is linked to this worksheet, we are going to use the filter that is linked to this apply all button worksheet that we have created instead. So let's remove all these filters. Okay, and let's put this in here. Alright. And we have our apply button. Let's put it at the bottom. Let's put it here at the end. Alright. Okay, so how do we add the action on this filter? The next step is to go to dashboard, click on actions. So what we want to do now is to create a filter actions on this worksheet. So we can add action, we go to filter. So we want to use this apply all button 
and apply it onto our worksheet. So we can select the fields that we want to apply it on. Say it is state. Okay. And then we want category. Okay. And then we want subcategory. Okay, let's also change our actions to run on a select. Okay. Alright. Now let's test out our filter. So what happens is, when we click on all this, you'll notice that the charts does not change at all. Right, so let's make our selections. Alright. And now, let's hit on the Apply Filter button here. Now you see, after making all this selection and clicking here, you will apply, then apply to the charts here. Okay, next, let's see how we can create an Apply All button on Parameter. So for Parameters, what we have to do is to create another set of Parameters as an input so that we can set the actions on the original parameter. So let's see. Let's duplicate this button. Um, we don't want all these details. Alright. The next step is we want to duplicate our parameters here. So this copy will then set the actions into the main parameters which we use them in the calculation. So let's drag the copied version onto the details. Okay. And then the next step is to bring this button in. Alright. And, and then we take our copied version of the parameter. Okay, let's remove the original one. Bring our filter button here. So what happened is that now we see when we change our parameter, nothing happens. So we will need to add an action on this button again. So now let's go to dashboard actions. And what we want to do now is to change the parameter. So based on this second worksheet we have created, we want to change the, the main parameters here. We're using our copied parameter. Let's use none. On select. Okay. And then we want to create one more parameter, which is to change the other parameter. Using this is the parameter using the copy parameter. Okay. So now let's see what happens when we click on the apply filter. There we go. So as we change this parameter, the chart will not respond, but we will only respond when we click on this button.